Well, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to you, the good and wonderful, lovely people of the tube. Hope you're well today. Hope you're feeling grand and always are going according to plan in your day, afternoon, morning, tea time, dinner, today. Either way, I hope it's great. Today, we have a comparison v v video. Wow, did you see that? That was strange. Anyway, comparison video today between two really, 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 really cool guitars. Uh, this in my hands is kind of unreal. This is an original 1952 Gibson Les Paul Gold Top in all gold. And it's absolutely relic. There is quite a few videos on my channel of this guitar and I've been lent it again by my good friend to do a comparison video. And what am I going to be comparing this against? I'm going to be comparing it against this. This is my vintage uh, V100 GT. Uh, it's kind of, you know, relic now, but it's, a, it's got the same kind of P90s. It's more of a kind of a 56 kind of style with the um, stop tailpiece. But, let's see which ones, you know, which one sounds better, different, same, similar. I don't know. Let's find out, shall we? I honestly don't know the outcome. I am actually AB these guitars. I want to learn with you, so I'm going to play a passage on the bridge P90. Uh, neck P90, and I'm going to do a little solo on the bridge P90, and then on neck P90 on both guitars back to back. So you'll hear the Gibson first, and then you'll hear the vintage Gibson, vintage, you know, so on and so forth. Um, and then I'm going to watch the footage back and I'm give you my opinion at the end of the video. So, without further to do, oh yeah, we're all going through the CR120 straight in, no pedals, uh, through the clean channel. Uh, volume is about six, bass is on two, and treble is on zero, so that's the EQ. So it's pretty, pretty kind of like you know flat, no reverb, uh, no nothing really, just you know as bare bones kind of sound that we can get, so we can hear the differences and not be like saturated with game. Usual comparison thing. So let's get to it, shall we? Let's see what we uh, see what we can hear. Hmm. <laughs>
Okie dokie, so, results time. Well, my opinion on this is interesting. Very, very interesting comparison. Um, in strumming between the two pickups, the, the bridge and the neck, tonally there's a smidgen difference, but not a great deal. I wouldn't say. I mean, it's, again, this is, this is my opinion. This is my ears. I'll, you know, again, you, as usual, write your comments below and let me know what you heard. I'd love to hear, like, you know, what you have to say in this as well. Uh, but in my, my opinion, in my ears, the vintage held its own with the Gibson. It really sounded close. I mean, there was a tonal difference. Um, but... And, and, and you know, and maybe the 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 the, the, real, the Gibson sounded a little little richer, you know, if that makes any sense. I'm, I'm again, I'm really struggling. I was, yeah, I was listening back to I've listened back to the footage a lot just a minute ago. I was like, I can't tell. But I've got to say, yeah, the vintage the, the vintage sounded a little. Um, I don't know. That I wouldn't say darker or brighter, but definitely the the, the the Gibson had a bit more kind of richness to its to its sound, whereas whereas the vintage didn't. But it was literally like. It's not even like a percent, really, in in my opinion. It's it's like it, it, it held its own. Single note wise, on the little solo section, I've got to say the Gibson had a, uh, a big one up on that. Definitely, it was a lot more responsive. The the notes rang out more. There were a lot more kind of um, a lot more. There's almost a sustain, a lot more ring on the notes with the Gibson than there was on the vintage. Whereas whereas the Gibson, as you play, it kind of goes with you. If you if you go, you know. Like you know, play harder or or, or or softer, it kind of goes with you. Whereas the vintage does that, but not to the extent the Gibson does. Um, but you know, at the end of the day, like think about this video. This guitar shouldn't any come anywhere near this guitar in theory. This shouldn't even be in the same league as this guitar. And I've got to say, in my opinion, I'm happy with this guitar. I've, you know, I've always been happy with this guitar. I love this guitar to pieces, but I'm happy with pitting this guitar against the 52 any day of the week. Bring me your 52s. I will put this guitar against them happily after this video because I believe it did a hell of a job considering the price difference and the quality difference and the age difference. This is incredible. Like I say, this shouldn't even come close. And to my opinion, it came very, very, very close. Especially in strumming, single note lines, yes, it kind of lost a bit of, um, kind of lost some points, if you will, kind of there. But I've got to say, I'm a bit blown. I'm I'm blown away of how close it was. It's it, it's I'm a bit shocked, as you can see. I'm not my usual nutty nutty self, but it was it was it was a bit shocking. I've got to say, um, like I say, mental, absolutely crazy. Uh, the 52 is a gorgeous guitar, but that is as well. And I've got to say, you know, it's, I don't know, not even a fraction of the price of, 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 of this one. It's not even like 1% of the price of the 52. And, you know, it, like I say, there's a lot, a lot of people out there, you know, I'm sure disagree. And that's fair enough. I can only kind of like, you know, tell you what I hear and how I perceive things because, you know, I'm me. And, um, you know, but I say like, you know, leave your comments below and like, you know, let's, um, let's, I'd love to, I'd always love to know what you kind of hear and what, you know, what, how it appeared to your ears, definitely. But I've got to say, that's so close. It was so, so close. There wasn't a great deal in it at all for me. Single note lines, yeah, a bit more maybe, but it's strumming, not really much at all. Tonally different, a little bit. Other than that, they strumming wise, they both responded really nicely. Single note lines, they responded differently, but not massive, like, worlds apart. Um, other than the vintage sound a little bit, you know, a bit more compressed and, you know, I wouldn't say dead or flat, but it kind of, you know, didn't quite respond as to the notes as well as the 52 did. But I'm shocked and, you know, happily blown away by the fact of my little vintage year is stood up to its bigger, you know, its, its ancestor, basically. You know what I mean? It's, it's, it's incredible. It really is incredible. I say, usual thing, let me know what you reckon and what you hear below in the comment section and uh, I'll see you again on another video. So, uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed this one. Thank you very much for my friend for lending me the, this gorgeous 52. Thank you for Vintage cr for creating this absolute monster. You know, incredible, absolutely incredible. So, yeah, I'll see you again. Have a great morning, afternoon, and good evening. See you later. Goodbye now.